In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added the step one here uh, with the icon and I've given some shadow effect in the background and then I have given kind of a 3D uh, design uh, which is uh, coming from the back side. We can see here and then I've put the text as the first step and then the arrow is pointing towards the second step with some different color combination then the third step and the fourth step. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to light gray color. Go to insert shapes, select rounded corner rectangle. Draw the shape depending on your size. If you want, you can make it less curved also. And then shape outline. I'm going to make it no outline and shape fill you can give a white color and then i'm going to add one more by pressing ctrl d to duplicate this and let me just change the color to some other color maybe orange and then i'm going to put it exactly on top of white and then go to insert shapes add a rectangle draw a rectangle on top of the orange rounded corner rectangle by leaving only this much size uh, the shape so I'm just going to select the orange one, hold the shift key, select the blue one, go to format, merge shape and just say subtract. And these merge options are available only in the latest version of PowerPoint, which is starting from 2013 and in 2010, you need to enable it. And in 2007 and the older version, this merge options is not available. So I'm just going to keep it like this and then go to insert shapes. I'm going to this one which is a trapezoid under basic shapes draw a trapezoid you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to give the same color then go to rotate and just say flip vertical you can see here let me just zoom in and if you want to adjust the size you can see the small orange point you can adjust the you can see here then I'm just going to right mouse click edit points and you can see here four edit points. Now I want to give a kind of a curve shape. So I'm just going to select the top one and you can see here the two small squares. I'm just going to drag this one inside and this also I'm going to drag it inside and I'm going to select this one. This is also I'm going to drag inside and here also I'm going to drag inside something like this. So you end up getting with this shape, then go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the top corner rounded rectangle, draw it and make it fully curved. You can see here shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. Go to more fill colors and I'm going to select a dark orange color. Click OK and then just send this to back. So it looks something like this. You can see here. Press Ctrl D and add it the other side and this also you send this to back. Let me just make it something like this and go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the rounded corner rectangle again and I'm going to add it on top of this one. You can see here and make sure that it is properly aligned. Shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. I can give this color also. And if you want, you can give some a uh, gradient fill also. For example, let me just select this right mouse click format shape and select the gradient fill. By default, four stops are there. I'm going to delete the two stop. One stop, I'm going to select the orange color and the other stop, I'm going to select the light color. Maybe yellow I can select. You can see here. So it looks something like this and the direction I want yellow on the top. So it let me just select this one you can see here and then I can just increase it something like this also you can see here more of a orange here and on the top it is somewhat yellowish color and if you want you can just zoom it a little bit and you can just select this one using the mouse you can see I'm just selecting like this and then you can just bring it somewhat down also and if you want you can increase the size a little bit again 
put it exactly in the center and then I'm going to give uh, some uh, shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to select black color and increase the transparency level you can see here and then you go to effects and soft edges increase the soft edges so you end up getting something like this I'm going to bring it here using this one I'm going to tilt it a little bit you can see here and then send this two back let me just tilt it further so it looks something like this press ctrl D now till the other side you can see here and send this to back so you can see here this shadow effect and if you want you can add one more shadow effect here also let me just select this press ctrl D reduce the size make it straight and then I'm just going to add it here and then send this to back so like this you can do add the shadow effect and then go to insert text box you can add the option 01 or step 01 whichever you want make it bold increase the size and I'm going to choose the white font you can see here something like this and then go to insert text box you can add your title again I'm going to give the same color and then below you can add some detailed text equals LORM within brackets one so you can see here let me just delete this part and I'm going to select this make it light color reduce the size maybe somewhat darker otherwise it is not readable and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select one line I'm going to add one line here and give the color as gray you can see here then if you're using the latest version you can add some icons also here so I'm just going to select some random icon you can see here and then I'm going to increase sorry decrease the height to 0.5 height and width and give the same color like this you can see here so you can see a one option is ready so I can just select this one move it aside if you want you can group it also or press ctrl D to duplicate so I'm just going to add one option here ctrl D one more option here again ctrl D and one more option I'm going to bring it here so this way you can just add the options and then once done you can just change the number and whichever color which you will like you can just change it for example I want to use some different color here maybe I want to use some dark blue you can see here and for this I'm going to use a light blue color combination with the dark blue so this is the light blue and here I'm going to use somewhat darker color and this also I'm going to select let me just select this because it is selecting the text so I'm going to give the same color you can see here and then again change the color to match the requirement like this so you can see here this way you can just add any color of your choice so the last option which I'm going to do is insert shapes and I'm going to block arrows you can see here I'm just going to select any arrow from here maybe arrow bend and I'm just drawing the arrow something like this and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give the gray color and then rotate right 90 degrees you can see here press ctrl D add this here and ctrl D and add this here and then you can simply you can see here rotate it to flip horizontal so the first option comes then the second then third and the fourth option
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye